I am honestly making this video purely out of rage. This morning I was supposed to have a quite short uh, but lucrative 30-minute uh, photo gig with important people. However, I wasn't allowed to go. I couldn't go physically because the trains have stopped for like five hours um, around where I live because someone jumped into the train tracks and so not much I can really do about it but that's what really sucks is because I'm super mad and frustrated about the situation but I don't know what to do about it there's nothing I mean there's nothing I can do about it so all I can say about the situation is uh scoreboard dead person that I don't know one uh me and tens of thousands of other people zero Let's get on to today's topic, which will be a brighter one, hopefully, um, which is a comparison of the 28 millimeter lens to the 40 millimeter lens. These look the same, I don't, but these are different focal lengths. And today we have a special guest for the video. We have a special commentator, um, Alex on Street, who will be reporting to us about some of his thoughts on 28 mil versus 40 mil from the streets of Harajuku. And also, don't worry if, if you don't have a Ricoh GR, it's not only applicable to the this camera series, but in general, I just want to make a comparison of 28mm versus 40mm, which is sometimes made, you know, not, not as frequently as something like 35mm versus 50mm or 28mm versus 35mm, but a 40mm lens is made quite often, actually. A few lenses that come to mind are the uh, the Sony uh, 40mm uh, Zeiss lens, Zeiss Battis, I think. That's an amazing lens. And also the Fujifilm 27mm, I think, 2.8 pancake lens, uh, which is a 40mm equivalent. And keep in mind that in this video, I won't only be talking about street photography. I'm talking about photography more in general. With that in mind, let's compare something like the 28mm to go even further in something like an 85 millimeter lens. At least within this realm, I think there's some kind of a general scale that can be used. Let's just call it the grittiness versus, ah, kind of looks nice scale. I think this is a fine generalization to make, but an 85 millimeter lens looks better to the human eye than something like a 28 mil. There's more compression, there's more bokeh, there's more of a focus on, on a certain uh, thing or subject um, in the frame. Sometimes an image just kind of looks nice because of the compression maybe, or it's like, it's not a bad thing. Yeah. But yeah, it helps with a few types of images. If somebody has a big nose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You right. know, yeah, yeah, yeah. like me sometimes <laughs> at certain angles, I'm like, damn, I got a big nose. But if I'm shot on a 50, my nose looks better. But if I'm shot on a 28, it doesn't look as good, so. With 28, there are more things in focus. There is a lot of subjects to work with and you need to really think about the frame. And in that sense, it's more realistic, hence grid. And I think what happens when you go as wide as a 28 mm focal length is that there needs to be some substance um, happening in front of you. Let's phrase this another way. The reality in front of you needs to be somewhat beautiful, I think, in order to capture a good image. It's a very advanced focal length. And it's difficult. Yes, it's difficult, isn't it? This is a difficult focal length. Mm -hmm. And I think some people that maybe they get a 28 millimeter uh, because they want to experiment with it. They haven't really shot a 28 for the first time. Mm -hmm. Maybe they shoot on a 28 and they find they don't like it. And they find they, it just doesn't vibe with them. And I feel like it's something that you have to just continually uh, practice with and shoot with and get good at. Mm -hmm. And if we're comparing that to something like a 40 mil focal length, that's less so, you get to focus more on one thing. And generally, the prettier that thing looks because again, more compression, more bouquet, so and so. Um, that everything kind of looks good on a 50, just right off the bat, especially stop down with all that bokehliciousness, right? F1.8, 50 looks so pleasing to the eye, uh, it, the compression and 42 as well, yeah. it helps a lot with that. Uh, but a 28 is, difficult. That tells us that, again, in general, in general, okay, when you take images for, of, for example, people, then you might want to take it with a 40 mil because they might look prettier in that sense. Or if you want to take focused images of very specific moments or perhaps even something abstract, then the 40 millimeter focal length will help you convey that message a little bit more. Whereas to, again, with a 28 millimeter focal length, 
you have more in focus, so you have to work more with the reality in front of you. Okay, and that was talk about how the end result or the images themselves look um, coming out of these different focal lengths. Now let's talk about use cases. I think Ricoh came out with the Ricoh GR3X at a very interesting time because now if we're talking about something like street photography, then the streets are emptier than before now because of the pandemic, right? So what this means is with a focal length like the 28mm, which is quite wide, you would need to get much closer to a subject or whatever you want to take in order to capture that image compared to something like a longer lens. And right now in this social situation, that's something that's really hard to do and I wouldn't advise to do as well. So using a 40 mil in a public situation, I think makes much more sense right now because of the distance, the physical distance that you have with subject. So in that sense, if you're the type of person that takes candid street photos, then maybe going longer makes sense now. And also if you're the type of person that takes quick portraits, then the 40 mil might also make a lot of sense. On the other hand, if you're staying at home or if you're the type of person that takes photos a lot indoors, then I think the 28 mm focal length is still a strong contender. And going even further than that, if you're the type of person that takes more daily photos, then I suggest the 28 mm focal length more than the 40 mm focal length. Again, as described in my previous video, you can go watch that around right here. I think the most relatable scenario is when you're sitting across the table from someone and you want to take an image of them, whether you're eating dinner with that person or having coffee or whatever. If you snap out a 40 mil, you're just going to get their face. Like, you know, this distance, this lens right now is set at about 30 to 32 millimeters around that. And this is what you're getting. And we are across the table right now, actually. See? But if you go to something like a 28 mil, Oh, let's change this. Oh, up. There we go. We have more in focus. We have more context. The restaurant, you know, this is in the house, but the restaurant, you know, or the cafe, or whatever it is they're taking, there's more interior in the frame. Let's change this back. Uh, okay. Does that make sense? I think it does. And if you're taking images of your food, you know, like that, I guess. Or if you're taking images of someone on a beach or something when you're on a date or you're hanging out with your friends, then you want a little bit more context in the image. So going wider like the 28 mil makes a lot of sense, I think. Okay, those are some of the bigger arguments that I had. Let's go to, let's go to something a little bit more technical maybe. Here's a small tip. If you like to shoot reflections, then I think the 40 mil is the way to go because with the 28 mil, more or less, you're gonna get yourself in the frame. So you have to crop in order to get really cool reflection photos. But with the 40 mil, less chance of yourself being in that reflection shot. Random tip number two. What is this segment? This is really weird. Oh, well, if you live in an East Asian country like Japan or Korea, somewhere along the lines of that, then I think the wider the better i'm mean, not not in all scenarios but in in most cases because let's say you're on a train or let's say you're in like a marketplace or something there are you're in a confined space there are a limited number of steps that you can take back in order to capture what's in front of you but with a 28 mil all you need to do is get closer if you want more of a focused image and random tip number three if you're the type of person that likes higher f-stops and you just want to click at something and get everything in focus, then get the 28 millimeter focal length. Because with a 40 mil, it will hunt more. You get less in focus. Again, more compression, more bokeh, right? Okay, that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. I hope this video will help you make a decision on whether you want a 28 mil or 40 mil uh, lens. Let me know if you want me to make other comparisons such as the 35mm versus 50mm or something like that. Leave a comment down below. Hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed yet. I would love to get close to 20,000 subscribers this year. It sounds a little bit impossible, but I'll try. 
Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. And goodbye. Bye-bye.